years. Lots to talk about in the automotive industry right now, from slumping new car sales to ways automakers are changing focus to adapt to the COVID-19 pandemic. We are checking in with Nick Miles, also known as our auto expert. Nick travels from Portland to Paris, London to Tokyo every year and drives over 150 cars. Nick, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Unfortunately, no driving right now and no traveling right now with COVID, but uh, doing everything from inside cars. Yeah, what's up with car sales? Uh, is this a, a time where we can get some deals and maybe even on leases as well? There are deals. Uh, there are certainly deals on new cars uh, in financing departments. We're looking at somewhere around 84 months zero interest from the big manufacturers. Wow. Trucks are the real hot vehicles right now. If you look at those mid-sized trucks like the Tacoma and the Ranger, they're flying out of dealerships right now much more than any other vehicle. Chicago looking about 26 down from projected sales, uh, but bouncing back, we're going to get some sales figures towards the end of the week, uh, but it doesn't look as bad as we were expecting. So Ford is doing something to help the uh, law enforcement industry. Absolutely. Ford, of course, famously make the law enforcement explorer right in Chicago, and they have come up with some very hot new software. And when I say hot, it's kind of a pun. Uh, this new software actually heats the interior of the car up to 133 degrees uh, in 15 minutes and kills all of the bacteria, or 99% of the bacteria and viruses on the inside of the vehicle, making it safe oh, for both wow. officers hmm. and those people who are actually traveling in the vehicle. Uh, what's Nissan doing? Nissan have uh, closed a factory in Barcelona. They're laying off a bunch of workers there. But in the United States, they're saying they're going to refresh their entire lineup in the next year. They're cutting it down from 69 models, which are on sale, to 55 around the world. U.S. factories will probably benefit from that since a lot of the vehicles will be made in the United States. But look for at least 20 new Nissans over the next two years or so hitting the streets. So does that mean that you could expect a deal from Nissan, potentially? <laughs> they are actually <laughs> offering really good financial okay. deals if you're looking to buy a car. But right now, the deals are not so much on the new cars. Yeah. Second-hand cars or slightly used cars are the ones that you're getting deals on because Hertz dropping 500,000 cars into the market over the next three months. Wow. And the Hummer is coming back. Yeah, Hummer, the big brand that went away 2009. Look at it. It's coming back. What do we know about it so far? Well, that big monster is no longer going to be a gas guzzler because it's going all electric for 2021. Also, we got some footage, exclusive footage of the brand new Hummer, and it looks like it has a glass roof. And the new Hummer will have a glass roof, and those panels in the new Hummer's roof will be removable. Uh, look for that being announced probably in the next month or so and hitting stores 2021 one or so. Wow. So some changes at Volvo. Yeah, you know, this is an interesting one. So normally cars are capped, luxury cars are capped at 155 miles an hour. Well, Volvo's making an interesting move to cap the speed of its vehicles at 112 miles an hour. No, I don't really know why you need to go that fast in the car anyway, unless you're on a racetrack. But no longer will you be able to do big speeds in Volvo. They're cutting it down for environmental and safety reasons. All right. And what about the new Ford Bronco? Well, we've been waiting for this. Two big anticipated uh, releases this year. The first one was the Defender. We saw it, but it's starting to hit uh, not dealerships, but those original customer orders. But the Bronco is coming back. We got insider information that we'll see the Bronco next month. There have been some spy shots of the Bronco available online, but the new Bronco will be announced in the next few weeks, and we'll be able to come live with that, hopefully, when the announcement has been made. Oh, all right. All Nick, right. Nick Miles, thanks so much. For more to go to our autoexpert.com. Nick Miles, thank you. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, guys.